This is a letter from your Yetzirah. He actually emailed it to me. This is your Yetzirah talking. And usually you don't get emails from your Yetzirah, from your evil inclination. I got it, and I would like to read it to you. So you should all know what your Yetzirah thinks about you. You ready, Mike? Look inside. Please take this in your house and frame it in your dining room and read it every day. This is your Yetzirah talking. To my star pupil... I am writing this letter to you. I'm writing, I'm writing this letter to let you know what I think of you. Up here in heaven, things are not like they are down on earth. Over there, people only know what they can see. If they, if they see a person is successful, they think that he is the greatest guy. When they see somebody struggling, they think he might be one of the weaker elements. Let me tell you something. Hashem gives every person certain abilities that nobody knows about down where you live. Some people are capable of tremendous things, while others were put there for much smaller purposes. Only Hashem in His infinite wisdom is able to give every person exactly what he needs to reach his potential. I am very misunderstood, says the Yetzirah. Most people hate me, and I don't really blame them. Most people think that my job is to make sure that they fail in respect of mitzvahs and that I rejoice every time they sin. This is the furthest thing from the truth. Did you ever watch a boxing coach train his student? It is a really funny sight. The coach will put on gloves and fight against his student. At first, he won't hit him so hard or throw his best punches. But as the student gets better and better, the coach will start to fight him harder and harder. He does this so that the student will improve his skills and become the best boxer he can be. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Oh, we should talk about that right now. He passed away this week, but that's for another day. This is where it gets strange. Every time the coach knocks down the student, the student gets yelled at. But finally, when the coach threw everything he has at his student, and not only does he withstand the beating, but he knocks the coach down, there is nobody in the world happier than the coach himself. This is exactly how I feel, says the HR. If you fail right away and don't even try to fight back, I see that there is not much talent to work with, and so I take it easy on you. But if you get back up swinging, I realize that I might have a real winner here, and so I start to intensify the beating. With every level that you go up, I increase the intensity of the fight. If you finally deal me a blow that knocks me out, I will get up and embrace you and rejoice with your success. Sometimes my job is very disappointing. I see a person with a lot of potential, and I start right in on him. He fights back for a while, but when the fight gets too tough, he quits and just remains on whatever level he was on, and he usually ends up going down. I feel like yelling at him, get up, you fool! Do you have any idea how much more you could be accomplishing? But I am not allowed to do so. I just leave him alone and go try to find another promising candidate. If I have chosen you to be the target of my more fierce battles, it was not for no reason. You have tremendous ability. You were born into a very special family. You have Rebbe who really care about you, re- re- parents who help you grow. This is to a particular person. I am writing to you now because I have a very serious request to ask of you. Please don't stop fighting. Don't give up. I have been beating, I have been beating too many people lately, and I am losing patience. Believe in yourself because I would not be involved with you as much as I am if I didn't think you could beat me. Know what your strengths are. A great rabbi once said, Woe is to he who doesn't know his weaknesses, but I wait to him who doesn't know his strengths, for he will not have anything with which to fight. Always remember one thing. You have a secret weapon at your disposal. I shouldn't really be telling you, but I will anyway. Hashem himself is watching our training sessions very closely. I am pleased to inform you that he's rooting for you. If things should ever get tough, almost too tough to bear, just call out to him with a prayer and he will immediately come to your aid. I wish you the best of luck and I hope that after 120 years when your time is up in in that world of falsehood, you will come up here to the world of truth where I will be waiting for you with open arms to congratulate you on your victory and personally escort you to your place to the Kisi HaKavoy. Sincerely, with great admiration, I remain your Yetzer Hara. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.